relay the extremely deep and long-lasting effects this has had on our family is almost impossible. We are blessed to be the parents of a 20-month-old boy, as well as three girls ages 5, 14, and 16. So we hope the court realizes this, that there isn't only one victim. The two oldest children had a relationship with this defendant, and the knowledge that she wanted to take their mother's life, as well as their stepfather's, has done irreparable damage. This demon wanted to take innocent children's mommy away from them, to leave two young children to grow up without knowing the love and support of their mother. Our families, friends, community have suffered long enough over Ms. Lambert. Please let the healing begin. It's going to take a very long time. Tara is nothing but a bully, and it's time to take a stand against people like this. Please do not show her compassion or consideration as she has none for others. Please do not use the saying first time offender as she's offended many, many times and done often, and but she's never been caught. Kelly, Sean, and your kids, I am truly sorry for the harm that my actions have caused. I never intended for the situation to get so out of control, but it did, and I do accept full responsibility for it. If I could go back to the future, if I had a time machine, I would go back in time and this obviously would have never happened. But I can't. I can only move forward and prove that I'm not the monster portrayed in this trial. And I apologize to my husband, Brandon, and to my own family for the hardship that they have endured and will endure because of my actions. While the jury was told not to consider mercy, I hope that this court can consider it. I do humbly request that this honorable court to carefully weigh and consider Dr. Brahm's report and the letter to you from Connie Chamberlain. They agree and I fear that I will not receive proper mental health treatment while in prison. Thank you. You're out of control. This is probably the first time in your life, now that you're 33 years of age, You've come in front of somebody who's taking control or will take control of your life and say, no, you're not going to do that. But the old saying about spare the rods, blow the child has come home to roost. And as a result of that, you're going to prison. To be the order of the court, Ms. Lambert, for this offense that, that you stand committed to Marysville Reformatory for Women for a period of seven years. Pay the court costs for which execution is hereby awarded. You also pay a fine of $10,000.